This is what my growing area looks like from above. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So just exposed to the rain, hail and shine. On the right hand side, those white sails or white cloth you see are the shade cloth area. But a lot of the plants on those spots where there's area, there's empty spots here, that's still open to the element. So there's a lot of succulents in there that are quite exposed. No covering, no protection, and are all growing happily. But otherwise, they are all still exposed. So even though string of pearl, string of beans, all sorts of strings over there. Now this area here, is where my pretty ones are housed so this one's here you can see the Romeos can you see the Romeos in the corner look at them they're all so those are Romeos exposed and that other one on the left hand side covered by that stem of the big red that is baby Romeos so those are all exposed, no covering, no nothing. And if we get some hailstorm, then they will surely get damaged. But that's the risk one has to take in growing pretty succulents. So the secret to my succulents is being out in the open. They're meant to be grown outside, exposed to the element this side here this is my free lease so I have featured this area in a lot of my videos and the winds coming up again so I hope it's not too windy and my calamansi tree of course so that's point of reference and as I travel a lot of times into my garden I go into that area there which is again exposed so those area there were a lot of the pretty ones are kept as well so on the left hand side that's all exposed but of course further left up the top are a lot of exposed plants up the top there that's my agavoides a whole heap of other plants so probably it's best if we get closer over there I don't cover them I don't go running around uh, covering them with a shade cloth if there's a forecast of heavy frost they are just all out in the open so we are now getting up close and personal with my succulents here so these are all just exposed you can see the Sun hitting them the shade cloth is over there but on this side there's no covering no nothing and even on the fence over there they're all exposed so this is my 50 zone area on the left hand side the white shade cloth you can see that they are just all exposed so so this is the top and a lot of oh my goodness so pretty look at that okay so that's the reason why they are colorful because they are exposed to the element now even on my 50 zone area a lot of those pretty succulents that i feature in my videos especially see those ones there they're just all exposed 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 <laughs> and even here someone just asked do yours is your sedum clavatum covered yes and no some are but this one here on the pretty part that's really literally on the edge of the 50 zone area so that is sedum clavatum over there next to nixana next to my variegated ben bodies uh, next to oopsie okay there you go we're getting okay also that ellen Craptopithalum ellen in a hanging basket okay oh i just saw something pretty okay let's go back here pull back pull back there you go so this is now the shelf area on the left 
Okay, let's go move across. So all these plants that you see here, they are all exposed to the elements. So these ones, actually a few of them. Oops, I'm on the roof. Okay, needs cleaning up. And the 50 zone area, portions of it, you can see the shelf. So this is like one, two, three, four, five level or five tier. And over there I can see my babies. Look, those white baskets. Those are my recent purchases. And also got a few propagated ones. My pretty variegated area. You can see they're on the fringes or the edge or my 50 zone or my shade cloth area. But really they're still exposed to the elements. If we do get say hail, they're still gonna get hammered if the hail falls on the wrong angle. So you can see, there you go. And this is the reason why they are so colorful because they're exposed to the cold, the frost, the heat of the sun. Uh, what else? Wind. Now let's go slowly move over to the other side here. This is the other side of the shelves and more shelves and more plants. So there you go. Okay, so they are all exposed. And look, sedum clavatum versus the sedum clavatum. No covering for those ones. Uh, the other one there with that label over here, that is labeled, okay, where are you? Put that one there, so just to the tip. So that one there is spatulifolium, but then it's growing to look like a sedum clavatum. But I, can, I still can't smell anything from it, so it doesn't have that lemon uh, drop smell that I associate with sedum clavatum. I got red edge, expose, and what else? I got some crassula, I've got Ben buddies over there next to each other, more crassula. Ooh, I've killed the new die. Is that a new die? It's dead. Hang on, wait a minute. Yep, I think that's a new die, that little stemmy thing. That's a new die next to the crassula. Now, below that are Ionium kiwis that I am putting through the ringer. And below are all different uh, Echeveria, Sedveria, Pacheveria, Graptoveria that are all being trained. If one would say that I cover my plants, no I don't, really, like truly. So a lot of people saying skeptical that you're covering them, they're all covered. No, they're not, they're all out in the open. So it's a matter of choosing the right plant to expose or knowing which one you can expose fully, which one you can sort of partially cover, which one you can grow. Uh, hang on, I'm just looking at that beautiful orange. What is that beautiful thing there? Anyway, what are you? I think you're my yalin. That one there. Uh, maybe it's my yalin, maybe. Yeah, it is, I think, my yalin with a couple of Pachiveria rough. And, oh, uh, what's the other one there? Never mind. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, my goodness. So they're all out in the open. There you go. That's all. Just sort of a quick uh, show and tell. Mexican giant pot. There you go. Mexican giant. Mexican. It's Mexican giant. <laughs> so, but don't go buying plants and putting it out or exposing it straight away. You have to acclimatize them. Oh, look, I just saw Leticia over at the top there. Look, see that pretty, pretty red in the corner there and there's a few more in there my minima is not covered so anyways that's about it and oh my string of pearls there you go string of pearls out in the element are you variegated ones i know i've got a variegated ones over there in the right hand side but those ones i think are just ordinary ones so that's all folks now i'm gonna go have a cuppa because i'm cold i look more pretty colors I just get so distracted with all these beautiful colors. There you go. And then that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's it. Now we go inside. Oh, more in here that are not covered. So there's no top covering on them. 
They look nice. Red jelly beans. You get to see all my mess. There you go. More plants that are not covered. Oh, Lungisima, look how red you are. 